Yeah, the idea is to take the ideas from Good Calories, Bad Calories, which is a very dense book. It's densely annotated. It's hard. It's a hard read. It's, you it know, is. I tried to make it convincing. And it's a brilliant book, but yeah. it's a hard read. And I never wanted anyone to, I never wanted to imply that you had to trust me while you were reading mm -hmm. it. I wanted everyone to see the data. Both the lay people would contemplate changing their diet because of this, and physicians and researchers and administrators. So I felt like I had to write that book. Yeah. That's the book that had to be written. Now yeah. I want to take, make it palatable, uh, mm -hmm. accessible. Mm -hmm. So the new book, the idea is to take those ideas, expand upon them a little bit, and then present it in a way that um, you know anyone can read. Or not, how many, how many not pages anyone. are we going to get? Well, it'll be probably about 170. Oh, that's not so it's bad. It's going to be a much easier. Again, not it's still not going to be you know a diet book for people with the uh, you know who read one book a year. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, one of the responses I got to good calories, bad calories, people writing in, and often I'd hear this book changed my life, now could you write one that my wife would read, right. or my husband would read, or my father would read, or my patients could read. Sure. Um, so that's what this book is, is planned to be, but it also expands on some of the arguments mm -hmm. and takes them further. It also includes some of my thoughts on how these diets might best be done, Yeah. because I'm not sure people take into account some of the factors that worry me as a former cigarette smoker. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm much more attuned to the powers of addiction yeah. and the, the um, seduction sure. that the uh, addictive substance plays on the victim <laughs> yeah. in order to get, its, get back in, in effect. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, for instance, I'm not sure that it's not better to go cold turkey and stay cold turkey. Mm -hmm. To treat carbohydrates like a drug. Yeah. Um, you're you're you not telling an alcoholic to, to drink less, right? Well, also, you don't tell an alcoholic to quit. I mean, maybe and you then, do that, then, but it's not. Then go if, back if, and see if you could drink one or two drinks exactly, a week exactly. and not. Um, and right. I can see the, the logic of that physiologically, but. You know, I'm, I'm not sure that for most people, trying to quit and staying quit isn't the best way to do it the long term. Mm -hmm. And that seems dramatic, and it's treated, and it's because of that attitude that these diets, in part, were criticized so heavily because they're seen as so extreme. Mm -hmm. But assuredly, we could all smoke three cigarettes a day and, and be, you know, virtually as healthy as if we didn't smoke at all, and yeah. nobody's telling us to do that. But most people would kind of start Go back smoking to more and more. Exactly, exactly. So, so that's a kind of issue I discuss also in this book at the end, is yeah. whether, you know, complete avoidance in the long term, and treating it like, and I often do this with my friends, I just say, you know, Treat it like you're trying to quit smoking or quit drinking. And, right. You know, don't try. Don't ask me what what you can eat and what you can't eat. Just tell yourself, I'm going to go three weeks yeah. without eating these foods, and then in three weeks, see how you feel if you manage to do it. Right. Um, and see how you feel and whether you. Um, and you many know, people you feel another few weeks. Very good after yeah. three weeks. So. Yeah, they, they, most so of them. Just, yeah. just one more thing before you have to go. Uh, what do you eat? I eat the low carb diet. You know, I, I mean, the way I put it, one phrase that seems to have been lost in this battle is we talk about what diets work, what diets don't. The key is that carbohydrates are literally fattening. The same way mm -hmm. cigarettes give us lung cancer, carbohydrates make us fat. So there's this, just this concept that's been lost along the way of the fattening carbohydrate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And these are particularly easily, refi easily digested refined carbs like white flour and Mm -hmm. sugars and starches, so I don't eat those foods. Okay. I don't eat the carbs. So what do you eat? Fat. What's so your I favorite eat foods? and bacon and sausage and meat and fish and green vegetables and right. salads and Good stuff. full fat yogurt, um, you know, and blueberries and when I want uh, berries, when I want fruit and, you know, and occasionally, um, you know, I have the bites here and there or yeah. fruit here and there, but I'm not... Um, I don't believe it has to be an integral part of a healthy diet. I may find out otherwise, but at the moment, I, the data doesn't suggest it. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, for breakfast this morning, I had eggs Benedict without the bun, and I think yeah. it had crab under it, and I also had mm -hmm. bacon and sausage. And it used to be when I ate like that, I was waiting to see if my heart was going to explode, right. because that's what I'd been taught to think. But after, you know, seven or eight years of eating this way, I'm fairly confident that it probably won't.
<laughs> no. Did you notice any difference when you started compared to before um, for yourself? Well, I felt great, and I lost weight effortlessly. I mean, I did it as an experiment. I was writing about this stuff that yeah. we were doing. Yeah, we had to go. Yeah. I did it as an experiment, right. and it worked. I mean, it was just it's surreal how easy it is to lose weight. And, of course, that makes me biased. Yeah. And it makes me, you know, when people hear that I actually tried this diet and I found out that it works amazingly, and that's what got me sort of obsessed yeah. with figuring out why. Actually, it didn't get me obsessed, but it got me very curious, and that yeah. was part of what fed into my research. But the fact is, you know, you do feel better, and you stay lean effortlessly, and now I'm going to sound like an advertisement. Um, you can eat when you want and how much you want. Mm -hmm. Actually, this morning I had breakfast with Mary Vernon at 7.15, uh -huh. so I had this Eggs Benedict with crabs and bacon and sausage. Right. And I had asked some other friends to join me in the uh -huh. restaurant here at set at nine, so I had some more eggs because I didn't want them to eat alone. Yeah. Conventional wisdom says I'm doomed. Let's hope we're right. Yeah, well, you don't look like you're doomed or fat yet from all the right, yeah. fatty you foods. Can never tell. <laughs> Thanks a lot okay, for the interview. Thank you, Andrew.